Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And, and peace to his people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we, we worship you, we give, give you thanks, we praise, praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you found your martyr Justin wandering from teacher to teacher, seeking the true God, and you revealed to him the sublime wisdom of your eternal word. Grant that all who seek you, or a deeper knowledge of you, may find and be found by you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. For the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs, and Greeks desire wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews, and <coughs> foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm set for today is Psalm 116, 116, on page 759, 759, verses 1 to 9. And we will say the psalm together. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication. Because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me. The grip of the grave took hold of me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. I was brought very low, and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has treated you well. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. I believed, even when I said, I had been brought very low. 
In my distress, I said, no one can be trusted. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On the last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, as you would have heard in the Collect, um, we celebrate the Feast of St. Justin. Justin was born sometime around the year 100, probably a, a year or two after. He was born into a pagan family, but it's apparent from his writings that he was from an early age a searcher after truth, exploring first Greek philosophy and then encountering Christianity. And so by, at the latest, the year 130, he had become a Christian, and not just a Christian, but a Christian who sought to contend and commend uh, the faith. We know that he wrote a number of works, but only three of them survive. Two of them are what are known as apologies. But it's important to understand that a, a Greek apology was not a kind of a regret, um, but it was a, a defence and a commendation. Justin was far from regretful about his faith, even in the face of death, and he was in fact martyred in Rome. For his faith. You probably know that the word martyr, in its original sense, simply meant to bear witness, and it was only later that the, the word martyr was applied to Christians who had so borne witness to their faith that they had lost their lives. I imagine that all of us here are slightly terrified about the idea of martyrdom in the fullest sense. But it may be that we're also not very comfortable with the idea of martyrdom in the soft sense of bearing witness to the gospel. Maybe I can say something that would help a little bit with that. The gospel is simply the good news, that's what gospel means. And I think that most of us are actually rather good at sharing the good news and we don't even have to think very much about it. So you might say to your neighbour, oh, my sister has just had a baby. Good news. Or you might say, look at that wonderful sunset over there. Good news. Or there's a sail on at Macy's. Good news. <laughs> we do it quite naturally, without thinking about it. And I wonder whether there are some ways in which we could be similarly sort of natural about our experience of faith. I mean, could we say to someone at work or a friend or a neighbour, you know, I, I went to church midweek at St Mark's and it was just so peaceful. Good news. Or, you know what, I'm so grateful for the love and care and affection of my church family. Good news. Or, you should hear the choir on Sunday at my parish church. Good news. These are all things I think that we could find ways to share. It doesn't have to be terribly heavy and religious in the first instance at least, but just explaining in simple terms to other people what it is that might draw 
us into the life of the church and might attract them. And of course, as I reminded the children on Sunday morning, uh, pointing to the statue of St. Francis that's on the pulpit, St. Francis said, preach the gospel always, if necessary, use words. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. For all people, in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbours, and for those who are our own. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel, and all who seek the truth. For Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, and Daniel, Bishop of this diocese, and for all bishops and all ministers and people of the church. For all who serve God in his church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation. For Chris, Sue, George, John, Mary Jane, Marlene, Marguerite, Nick, Bryce, Howard, Will, Barbara, Rick, Anne, Mary, Don, Bob, Martha, Marty, Wendy, Rob, Richard, Susan, Riley, Sarah, the Brower family, Rowan, and Gary, and any others known to us who are sick, suffering, needy, or in trouble. For all of the ministries of this church, its outreach to those in need, its work to promote the faith among children and young people, its music, its development of the life of faith through discipleship groups. Hear us, Lord, for well, your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We thank you for the beauty of this day, for the relative peace and security that we enjoy in this nation for our homes, our families, our friends, those who care for us, and those whom you have given us to care for, for our good life and the measure of health we enjoy. We exalt you, O God, our King, and, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, especially Charles Newman, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them, who have put their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy on us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, now and at the moment. Things done and thy done and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honour and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, both for our good and for that of all his holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in Justin and all your saints, who have been the chosen vessels of your grace and the lights of the world in their generations. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Saviour and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil, and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all. 
presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where, with Justin, Blessed Mary, Mark the Evangelist, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ our Lord the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now, as our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but speak the word on me, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son and our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. God give you strength to follow his saints in faith and hope and love, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks be to God.